Strong and Balanced. My name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. Uh, today, we're going to be working on some strength and balance related exercises. Uh, we will be getting either down to the floor or uh, into bed to do a few of these exercises at the end. Uh, and with that, let's begin. We're going to start off with your feet about hips width apart. Your knees are soft. You're going to pull your head up off your shoulders. And we're going to start off with a nice warm up with some neck circles. Again, if you've never done this type of class before, we always ask you to consult your physical therapist or physician prior to beginning any new exercise routine. And only work within your limits in the exercises that you know you can do. And let's go to the opposite side. Again, trying to get a little bit of distraction or traction on the neck by pulling your head up like a big helium balloon. Does not make you an airhead, just makes you have good posture. Excellent, good. And let's do some arm circles in one direction. A lot of these balance exercises, you'll notice that there are parts of your body that are moving. There are other parts that are not moving. And that's the stability piece that we're trying to work on whenever we're trying to tense areas and just the arms moving, nothing else is. And let's go backwards. Perfect. And we'll do a little bit of marching in place. And let's bring the arms back and forth. If you'd like to add a little step back with a twist, that's all you're gonna do is step back with the opposite foot. Again, arms go back and foot goes back at the same time. So you will be super coordinated. Don't work through any knee pain and don't let this front knee go in front of your toe. So we wanna keep that back. That gets these muscles back in here working, the ones that should be doing the majority of the work. For five, four, three, two, and one. Feet a little wider this time, knees are soft, and let's just do a little bit of rotation. Again, even with something like this, you're, you're controlling your core with that belly, right? Belly buttons in, you're swinging from, from the core. Excellent. Feet about hips width apart. Let's come up onto your toes and heels, heels and toes. Trying to grip that ground. Yeah. <laughs> come on in. Good. <laughs> I think Karen was just saying that she'll be in later to, uh, to do the Irish jig. She is a Henley, so happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Good. Arm out to the side, hand on your hip. Let's slide your foot back. This knee is soft, and let's draw that leg out to the side. If you do it without bringing the foot back down to the ground, that is fantastic. Good, in three, two, and one. Great, arm out to the side. Let's slide that foot back and come out to the side. I tried Irish step dancing before. It, it involved a lot of um, kicking of my shins. I don't know, it, it was not a very comfortable experience. In five, four, three, two, and one, let's get into one of three balance positions. Feet together, heel to the inside of your big toe or one foot in front of the other. And we're just gonna start off with a head turn left and right. And 
in three, two, one, and let's switch feet. If this is super easy for you, simply lift the front foot off of the floor, uh -huh, simply, and turn your head left and right. Five more turns. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. We're gonna do some gentle body weighted squats now. Toes are slightly out. You're gonna clasp your hands together. We're gonna to sit your hips back. If you wanna hold on to a wall or a countertop, that's absolutely fine. But we're gonna come on down and back up. Good. Down and back up, trying to keep your chest up. If you're looking up at your screen, it's probably a good way to start to get the mechanics right of this and get a little weight on your heels. Good. If it bothers your knees, don't come down as far or Simply turn your toes maybe a little bit more out or in to see if you can get around that pain. Good. In five, it's on the way back up. You're really trying to squeeze the glutes together to come on up for five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Arm out to the side, hand on your hip, and let's bring that opposite knee up and down. Good. If that's super easy, we're going to make small circles with the whole leg. Okay. It's not just the ankle that's moving, it's coming from the hip right here. You're just getting some movement. If you are circling, I ask you to reverse circle, please. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's shift off to the other side. Remember, we're gonna keep that uh, left knee slightly bent and let's bring the right knee up and down. Good, or you can try a circle. Good, if you're circling, let's reverse circle. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's get those hip flexors and calves a little stretch. We're gonna step onto your right foot, toe is slightly in, long step forward with the left. You wanna do this up against a wall, perfectly fine. Belly buttons in. And let's, and let's bend that left knee. Marrying into an Irish family, today is the only day that I changed my first name from Pasquale to Patrick. So I will be the leprechaun for the day. Good. Great, let's switch to the other side. Belly button in, shoulders back, let's bend that front knee. <clears throat> when my son was about five years old, he said, Dad, can I build a leprechaun trap? I said, a leprechaun trap? He says, yeah. He says, at school they said you can catch a leprechaun if you, you know, build a trap. I said, sure. He's gone for about an hour. I go into the backyard. He's got my shovel out and he's dug a hole about this deep into my grass. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? He says, well, what? I, I, I'm just building my leprechaun trap. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> and let's come on back up and shake those legs out. Great. Let's go about hips width apart with the feet and let's just do a little bit of rocking side to side. Good, 
Let's extend the right arm out and let's really try to get your head over your foot on this side, hand on your hip, and let's touch your heel to the inside of your calf, and then your toe to the floor, calf, and toe to the floor. If you're near something and your balance is pretty good, you can try bringing your foot around and touching the outside of your shin, okay, by doing this, or just continue to go here and tap. This is getting real easy. Don't even bring the foot back down to the ground and just tap and return. So we're in an extended position. And yes, this hip has to be in in order for this to work. Good. In five, four, and you can see this is a strengthening exercise for that right hip. Three, two, and one. Great. Let's shift off to the other side. Touch and return. Touch and return. Or sneak around the other side. Whichever way you would prefer. Keep that left knee soft. Or five. Four. Three. Two. And one, and let's shake those legs out. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of stepping or hopping from side to side now. So if you'd like to try to land on your forefoot, so right on the pads of your feet, I don't wanna hear you kind of stepping, but we're gonna step over to the left, over to the right, over to the left, and then you're gonna use your airplane arms to try to catch yourself, okay? Uh, if you'd like to get a little bit of weight bearing, you don't have horrible osteoporosis, let's do a hop to the left, a hop to the right, and a hop to the left and try to stick the landing, okay? Um, to make that a little bit more impactful, you can go higher or wider. You can try to really leap over to the side, left, and hold it, okay? So let's go left, right, Left and hold. Good, hold, hold, hold. Good, left, right, left and hold. Perfect, we're gonna do two more. If you'd like a little bit of a challenge, we're gonna do a head turn at the end, turning our head side to side. So let's go left, right, left and turn your head, left and right. Excellent work. One more. Left, right, left, and turn your head side to side. Perfect. We're going to do the same thing going in the opposite direction. So we're going to hop right, hop left, hop right, and hold. Good. Listen, 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 and listen to see if you can hear your feet. If you're hearing a big slap, then you're landing with a flat foot. I want you to land somewhat on your forefoot. Let's go over to the right, left, right, and hold. Easy for me to say. I'm on carpeting. Okay. Right, left, right, and hold. Then let's do a few more with some head turns if you would like. Right, left, right, and turn your head from side to side. Oh, that one was funny. Good. One more. Right, left, right, and turn side to side. Very nice work. Okay, let's come forward onto your left foot. Let's bend your left knee. Let's tap your right toe behind you and let's pitch your waist forward, okay? And then we're gonna kick your heel up and down. Right heel up and down. And five more, four, three, two, 
And one, let's switch off to the other side, please. Coming on up and down. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come on back up. So let's get back into your balance position, whichever position worked out for you before. We're going to take your uh, right thumb, we're going to drop it down low. We're going to bring your left thumb up high. Now, if it really bothers your shoulders to do that, bring it wherever you're comfortable. And then that's all you're going to do with your knees soft is you're going to look from one thumbnail to the other. Good. One thumbnail to the other. Again, if it's super easy, just pull that foot right up off the floor. And this is a good time to reposition your feet. If you're stepping a lot, bring your feet a little wider. If this is super easy, bring your feet a little narrower. As if you're walking the line. The key to this exercise, keeping your knees soft and refocus your eyes on each of those thumbnails. All right? Say, so why are my fingernails green today? They were supposed to, I was supposed to wake up and they were supposed to be green. I think that's how it works. Good, in three, two, and one. Great, let's switch feet and switch hands. This time we're gonna take your left thumb down low, your right thumb up high, and you're gonna look from one thumbnail to the other. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one, excellent work. What we're gonna do now is we're going to either do, you can grab yourself a drink of water, but we're either gonna do some push-ups off of a wall, or we're gonna get down on the floor and do it there. So if you have a resistance band, a mat, whatever, let's get settled. But if you're gonna be doing your push-ups on the wall, hands are a little bit lower than, than armpits and a hair wider, and you're just gonna do push-ups on the wall, if you could do them up on your toes, that would be great. And we'll meet back here in 30 seconds. Okay. So if you're going to be doing your push-ups from the floor, you can do them from your knees or you can do them from your toes. Uh, if you did them on the wall, fantastic. Let's come right onto your back. Hands are going to be right underneath uh, shoulders. Elbows are slightly in and you're going to come down and up. And we're going to try to do 10 of these with your belly button in. Again, if you want to do them from your toes, that's fine also. Good, just coming down and up, not working through any shoulder pain. For those of you with shoulder issues, you may have to skip this one. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come right onto your back. To warm up your lower back, I do like to do a little bit of a rotation. So I want your arms spread out to the side, your feet flat, your knees are bent, and your feet are together, your knees are together. 
and would it simply do a little twist side to side. Again, what's going to control your legs coming up and over is your abdominal. So I want you to pull them in and pull your legs over to the side. If you have back issues, you can go nice and easy with this one. But otherwise, it's fine to get a little bit of a twist. And you're not holding it in any one position. You just bring those knees down, making sure you keep your shoulder blades on the ground. And it is normal for most people to feel a little stretch when you bring your knees over to the left to feel it in your right lower back, as well as on the other side. Good. And four, three, two, and one, fantastic. Let's bring the feet hips width apart. And we're either gonna do a bridge coming up, or if you have lower back issues or osteoporosis, just a simple pelvic tilt, pushing your lower back into the floor and holding for five seconds. If you'd like to do a one-legged bridge, one leg's gonna be up and you're gonna lift. And for all these exercises, whichever one you choose, we're gonna hold for five seconds and come on down, come on up. So again, it's either two feet and down, one foot, or just the pelvic tilt. Good. Two more. Great. All right, we're gonna continue doing your exercise, but if you are doing a one-legged exercise, we're gonna switch feet, coming down and coming up. Good, up again. For three more, hold it and down. Two more and down. One more and down. Good. Let's put both it, bend both of your knees. I want you to cross your left ankle over your right knee. Okay. Keeping your pelvis nice and flat, I want you to take your left hand and push your left knee gently away from you. Okay. You're pushing it this direction away from you. Just to get a little stretch that you should feel in the left hip. Okay. If you're feeling it just in your left knee, I want you to straighten out your right leg just a little bit, okay? This should feel like just a gentle little stretch here. I like the stretch because it increases the rotation at your hip, which sometimes diminishes as you age or with a little bit of arthritis. Again, if you've had a hip replacement, this is a nice gentle stretch. Okay, let's plant that left foot back down to the ground. Let's take the right ankle and cross it over the left knee. And with the right hand, you're gonna push your right knee away from you. Trying to keep your back nice and flat. Ten more seconds here. Fantastic. I want you to pull your belly button in now. Your lower back is pressed flat. And if you can, let's bring your knees and your feet up till your hips are at about a 90 degree angle and your knees are at about a 90 degree angle, okay? And we're just gonna hold it here. If it makes it easier for you to keep your hands uh, behind your head just to support that, that's fine. You can stay flat. The key is keeping your lower back flat. If you'd like to try some bicycling from here, which is a great way to get these abdominals to work, you're just gonna alternate arms and legs as if you're on a bicycle. I don't know why this would be a bicycle. Bicycle for your legs, maybe. Not for your, not for your arms necessarily. But we're just alternating arm and leg. Great. You're not pulling on your neck. Good, or you're just holding that position. Again, bring those feet back down to the floor if you're starting to get tired. Otherwise, we're gonna go for five, five more seconds, four, 
three, two, and one. Very nice job. Let's straighten out your right leg and gently let's bring the left knee up towards your chest. You can grab behind the knee or on top. This should not cause back pain, but you should get a little bit of a stretch either in the glutes back here or in your lower back. I'm going to hold it there. I like to try to get the right knee flat when I'm doing this. So you, so you can make sure that the hip flexor is getting stretched out. And let's switch to the other side, please. You can either go behind the knee if your knees bother you, or to get a little bit more of an aggressive stretch, you can grab on top of the knee and pull that knee towards the chest. Okay, let's come on back up. If you have a resistance band, we're gonna put it just above your knees. If you don't have a resistance band, no worries. You're gonna get a good workout without it. Let's roll onto your right side. Knees and feet are stacked on top of each other. And let's open your top knee. A little clamshell. Good. Great. If it doesn't bother your shoulder, you're going to keep your hand right on top of your hip to make sure it's not moving anywhere. So all the movements coming from your hip rotators. Good. In three, two, and one. Let's open the whole leg up and land with the foot and the knee back together. Again, for this one, you're going to keep your hip down away from you. That's what that hand is doing. Keep your hip down, okay? Away from your ears. Good. And three, two, and one. Let's straighten out both of your legs. Let's bend your bottom foot back for stability. Roll your hip slightly forward and extend your top leg back. And let's raise that leg up and down. Okay, good. You don't have to bring the foot back down to the ground and your foot should be pointed straight ahead for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And let's switch to the other side, please. We're gonna start with the clamshells. Open and closing. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do our fire hydrants, lifting the whole leg up and down, keeping the knee bent. And you're gonna land right back, foot to foot, and knee to knee. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Legs are straight. Let's bend the bottom foot back. Roll the top hip forward and extend that leg back just a little bit. And let's raise it up and down, keeping your knee straight. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come on to your back. Take the band off. You're gonna bring your feet together. Let your knees drop all to the side. I wanna make sure your chin is not up. Gently pull the chin in. You may even feel a little stretch in the back of your neck. As long as it's gentle, that's fine. Palms of your hands down on your inner thighs, just to give these adductors a little stretch. And if you can stay down on the floor to do any exercises that you, or stretches you typically do. I guess Karen has not returned, but if you see her in the facility, please ask her um, to do some Irish step for you. She's quite good at it. 
Uh, and I wish you all a happy St. Patty's Day. Take care.